Hi everyone, this is Raja. And I'm Raven. And this week we're talking about RuPaul's Drag Race a Fashion Photo a Review. Each week we get to talk about all the outfits and we decide if we're gonna toots or we gonna boots. Yes, ma'am. On the main stage of. This week's theme was crazy, crazy, sexy, sexy cool. and cool. So, I mean, I kind of like this. I think it's going to be real cute. Let's get to work. All right, look number one. Yes, God, I do feel it. I'm sorry. I am living for this Erte realness. She is giving me one side. It's kind of like Eartha Kitt who goes to Studio 54. Everything seems to go to Studio 54, yeah, right? with you. Yeah, I know. It's a very beautiful print. I think that yeah. she looks very cool. She looks elegant. There's also a an air of sexiness and yeah. sophistication. Yeah. I definitely give this a toot. I give it a definite toot. I give it a toot, toot, toot. I love it so much. Well, I see what this bitch was going for. This was Victor and Rolf. It was a couture look where they came down with a pillow and they would look like they were asleep. Kudos to the fashion reference. And you know what? What's sexier than being in bed? I mean, what do you do in bed? I jack off constantly. Oh, and she got a reveal. I don't think the reveal is that. I mean, the outfit itself was so good. I mean, you're gonna sleep in that. I sleep naked. Yeah. She, she should have had her dick out. Looks pretty much like it almost is out. Oh, damn. Shade. The tuck is not that tight. Shade, the rusical. I do think the cutest part of this costume is the teddy bear. The teddy bear is cute. You know what, I mean, for the reveal, I would say I think it's a complete boot. You're gonna drop a blanket and a pillow and take off a little nighty mask and you've got panties on a bra. Yeah, give us like Playboy 1976. Like, put a full muff of hair there and some feathered hair, like Blush. a library book and a, you know, go in, but I mean, really? This is a boot. Boot, bye. Is this crazy? Is this sexy? Or is this cool? I, this... I, I, I honestly, none of the above for me. I mean, if you go and come on the runway, come on the goddamn runway, you know, yes. look good. The bitch was crazy for wearing this for this Challenge. But That's I think it's crazy. cool if she's like serving punch after church to like everyone, like the little kids, you know? And to get the cookie and the punch and there's that lady who's like, hi kitties! Mm, I don't think that's kind of cool or crazy or sexy she was going for. I this was is boo. I was trying. Boo. Wow, this one, I would say this is borderline sexy, borderline crazy. Yeah, I think I, I see a little bit of that scene in Showgirls, the movie, when they're all sort of bondage -y and lesbo, yeah. and they're like on motorcycles, and I like the little beading detail. I think that's beautiful. I, just I love find, the boots. Yeah, but maybe it's just because I'm so fucking crazy. Like, maybe I just want things to be a little bit crazier. Well, yeah, and I think that if you're given the option to do crazy, sexy, or cool, you are doing so much sexy throughout your yeah. time at RuPaul's Drag Race, depending on how long you last. Why not make it crazy? I would have like a ball gag in my mouth and, you know, like assless chaps, maybe a body bag. And maybe she would be like hogtied on stage totally. right there. Totally. I'm gonna give it a toot. I'll toot it with you, I agree. Well, this is neither crazy nor sexy nor cool. It's just straight up annoying at this point. What is this outfit? I don't get it. It looks oh. like a pillow being shoved into a pillowcase. Why this look? I mean, this just looks so dowdy and kind of predictable and give me couture, please, darlings. Give me couture. Something that just shows you came to play. Yeah. This looks like literally you found out you were gonna be on RuPaul's Drag Race the day before you had to leave and you grabbed the curtains and the linens off your bed and said, okay, let's do this shit. Yeah, how disappointing. I've gotta boot this. I was, you know, I was gonna try to be nice about it, but I just gotta be a boot. boot. You know, black is always sexy. Black lace is very, you very sexy. Real deep I was going fun. there, you know. I I am seeing Madonna, like 1984, sexy, crazy. Are you seeing this or is it just I me? I am trying. You're being very visionary today and I'm appreciating that because of the lack of vision in these queens. Raven, it's but. black and it's lace and there's leather involved. Do you not see how sexy this is? You're oh, yes. not, I know, you're not impressed. I see it, it's cr it's crazy sexy cool. But the elements used in a different way for me would have been a little more sexy. Well, I think it would be really beautiful if she was a, someone's dad who was hiding it from his wife and showed up at the local bar and was trying to lure men in. I see a lack of effort in this as far as Crazy sexy cool girls. I 
I give it a boot. I'm hesitantly tooting this because I think it could go another level, but it is, it's ultimately a good outfit. It's not that bad. This to me is where I think more of the girls should have gone. This is crazy, this is sexy, and this is cool. I think that this queen nailed it top to bottom, head to toe. I would say so too. I like, I always love a biker look. I love a little bit of spike. I love that whole sassy, like, you know, misfits. And, and I like her boots, so let's just go ahead and give her two. Two toots. Two toots. Now, I love this. I think this definitely calls upon a certain time of sexiness when the hourglass figure and it's a classic shape. It's that whole 1940s thing that I really, really love. Yes. It's giving me like Dita Von Teese in Russia on a sleigh. It is beautiful. I love her shape. Yes. Love, love, love the shape. And I do love this, this outfit. Is it a little safe for crazy, sexy, cool? I don't know if it's crazy, but in compared to, I mean, in comparison to everyone else, it might be crazy because the silhouette is so like different. And I think it's very cool. It looks like she's cool, like she's cold. She's got fur on. <laughs> <laughs> I give it a two. 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 Yes. Yes. I li yes. This is this is a good one for me. I love the reminiscent of Cher anytime. It is giving me Tiger Lily. It is giving me Pocahontas. It is giving me China Doll. I mean, just name it all. Love it. I love this. To me, it's very, very cool. The, mm -hmm. Even the pose looks very cool. Like, you know, I'm here and I and I am sexy. I love the color. I love the cut of the blouse. I love the cut of the pants. I love, 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 love. When the moon is in the seventh hour, honey, it is the dawning of the age of Aquarius, and I see it right there on this yes. outfit. Toot. Toot. Our top two of the week is, yes, spikes, leather. She took all three, combined them together, and made a very fabulous ensemble. All of the elements are there, but she is thickening from head to toe. We love this look, sexy. Trend alert. Vintage glamour. Drawing upon the decades, a darling. Don't forget to subscribe to WOW Presents.